So that was a video of a guy dying on a free ride two from ozone. Um, I just got done seeing a video of another idiot on YouTube promoting the free ride two. You can watch the video of the guy die dead, one collapse. He's flying in very mild conditions. You can see very clearly from the video, he's not getting rocked around and just slammed around, which is what violent turbulence would be. So very mild conditions, but wham, takes a collapse, it never recovered, he just locks into a spiral all the way to the ground, bam, he's dead. And then you see these people on YouTube like promoting this death trap of a glider and going, oh, it's great, and yeah, blah, blah. Anything they can say to sell a glider that's a total death trap. Now, can a death trap be fun? Sure, it can be fun. Can you do things on a death trap you can't do on a dominator? No. So what's the point? Why fly a death trap when you can fly the safest class of glider that can do everything that death trap can do? I mean, think about the logic of that. You can fly any safe glider that, you know, if you can see them having fun, doing all the maneuvers and stuff, demonstrating that it handles well and it's fun to fly and you got the performance, then why would you promote a death trap? What's the point? Well, if they can't sell one thing, it's like these people don't give a crap. And it's like, how do you know who to trust in the sport? Well, look at the guy dying. Do you want to do that? Do you want a glider where one collapse and you do a backflip and it locks into a spiral and stays there all the way to the ground? Seriously, I mean, think of the, the logic here. It's like, ah! use your brains use your brains I, li I get people all the time going oh man it's so hard how do you know who to trust look at the video guy does a backflip out of the sky and dies on a free ride too and then you see these idiots promoting a free ride too i mean what do you think about the morality or integrity of someone promoting the glider that where one collapse, it does a backflip 180 and locks you into a spiral face first into the ground. I mean, another guy went out to actually test and show how safe hoax flex gliders were, climbed up to 3,000 feet with a reserve, and one collapse, and it did the backflip, locked him into a spiral so violently he passed out before he could even throw his reserve, and he died. His name was Wolfgang. But there's been so many deaths, literally hundreds of deaths on these gliders that they call reflex. You're, I mean, Wolfgang, Adelson, Dean, Ben, Grant, Eric, uh, Jeff, another Jeff. And it just, the list of names goes on and on and on and on and on. And it's not, what's the point? It's like, you see us doing all the cool stuff on a, stuff on a Dominator. What can you do on a death trap that you can't do in a Dominator? Nothing. But there's a lot of things you see me doing on a Dominator nobody else in the world's ever done and can't do. Um, but a lot of that skill level. Can you not have fun on a death trap? Sure, they can handle well and they can be sporty and zip around. But what's the point? It's like, if you can get the fun factor without the death, why die? What's the point? It's all sales pitch. These people just have no integrity whatsoever. They are lying sacks of murderous crap that would promote a death trap and try and tell you every good thing. Oh yeah, this is so great. It's the best thing. Oh my gosh, it's the best thing since sliced bread. And they use all this effort and energy to promote a total death trap. And it's just, it's on and on. It's like you see these people all through the internet promoting this garbage and it's like, take one look at it and it's like, are they promoting the safest classic glider or are they promoting gliders that are so deadly they literally can't pass any level of safety certification? Now you'll see in my videos, uh, you know, when I test gliders, I'll do a side-by-side, -side, climb up, you know, a couple thousand feet, shut up the engines and glide, do a side-by-side -side glide comparison. You'll see which glider has a better glide ratio and it's more efficient, which glider has a lower sink rate. And you can watch my video of the Hoax Flex Death Trap from uh, Dudek side-by-side -side with a Dominator. And 29 square meter Dudek versus a 16 square meter Dominator and the 29 square meter sinks away from the Dominator. I mean, 
the facts are right there. The evidence is there. It's like you just compare equals for equals, speed for speed, reality for reality. Now, there's a lot of people that lie. They just flat out lie to try and pretend they have speed. Speed, you again, it's not that hard. If you watch a video, if you see them descending and going downwind, and then they claim they're setting some speed record, total lie. Obviously, to set a speed record, you got to basically go straight and level across the ground. If you're descending, well, then the glider's not efficient enough for you to actually be able to maintain altitude at that speed, so it doesn't count. Any speed where you're dropping like a rock isn't uh, actual legitimate speed. It's got to be boop, where, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> it's basically your max speed is the speed at which you are full throttle and can, you can no longer maintain altitude, basically. Boop, there. But if you're dropping like a rock, you're just using gravity for speed and it's like that you can't even fly. It's no practical use for that. So that's not how you measure speed. So again, that's another way that the liars will trick you and they'll go, oh, look, we just beat the Dominator speed record. And you can see clearly that they're literally crabbing. There's so much wind, they're crabbing in the video and descending, going down a hill, and actually descending into the hill, they're descending faster than the downhill. So you can see that they're basically dropping like a brick. But it, you have to use your head and think about the logic and the reason. I mean, if what I was saying was not accurate, it would be very easy to just post a video and prove me wrong. Bam, done. I mean, speed is not an opinion. 51 is 51, 55 is 55. 55 miles an hour is faster than 51. There's no opinion to it. Glide ratio, sink rate, all these things about it. The only thing that has any opinion would be handling. But if you see people doing loops and spins and you know and having all kinds of fun and whipping it around, well, obviously the glider handles pretty good. So you know a dominator can do what nobody else can do, actually. But that's a lot, you know, some of that is actually pilot skill because I have the ability to do what no other pilot can do. But of course, a big reason I have the skill is because I'm still alive. If I flew the death traps, I would be dead. One of the reasons none of these other people can beat me is because of the safety of the equipment. Because when I mess up, I get up, <laughs> I get to go fly again. I've literally never been injured in my entire life in the history of flying. And I have utterly obliterated, a, I don't know, a way over a dozen, probably like 20 something paramotors, just pushing the limits, doing crazy stuff. And it's like, when you got the safest gear, you get up, you go, oops, that was stupid. And you, and you go fly again. And so you can progress in skill level um, if you have the safest gear. But people on unsafe gear, they don't get that chance. When they mess up, they die, that's it, bam, you're dead. So you have to compare equals for equals, use some logic. I mean, this sport really isn't for people that are below average of intelligence. You have to look at what's being said, compare this to compare that, and understand what sales pitch is versus quoting facts and specific characteristics and pointing out specific characteristics of gliders and comparing equals for equals. Everybody knows the Dominator's super safe. Um, you can see all the collapse testing. That's another big one. If somebody's promoting a glider and they've never even collapse tested it, it's like if they don't even dare do basic safety tests on a glider they're telling you to buy, why the heck would you buy it? Think of that. If they're so scared to do any basic safety tests on it and to collapse their glider, and they're telling you it's the best thing since sliced bread. Why you're fraud? I mean, it's like you got to use some common sense there. So, I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. Safety. Are they going out and safety testing the glider and collapsing the heck out of it? Like Wolfgang. Yeah. Well, he's dead. So he didn't live because he was testing a hoax flex death trap called reflex glider where... See, I mean, one of the reasons it's very, very simplistic. Again, the logic is very simple. In hoax flex mode that they call reflex, there's no reflex to a paraglider, but I've done that video. You're unloading the back half of the glider. That means if you had a you know five and a half to one aspect ratio and you unload the back half of the glider, you now have an 11 to one aspect ratio. Now, if you don't understand that, let me put it this way. Think about trying to bend a two by four versus a railroad tie. The dominator is the railroad tie, short, stubby, fat, 
and you've got you know a very stable glider versus a two by four eight feet long tiny skinny it's nowhere near as stable as the railroad tie that's just you know you don't even have to be a pilot to understand aspect ratio when you're hanging from an 11 a glider that's 11 times wider than it is deep yeah one collapse they do a backflip 180 lock into us and they're so violent they can't pass any level of safety test so anybody promoting such a glider is a freaking murderous fraud scumbag evil just total flat out loser i mean loser with a capital l seriously why would you put effort into promoting a death trap when there is no actual benefit I mean, if the thing did 80 miles an hour, you could go, well, we're sacrificing all of our safety to gain some speed. But they're not. Where's the speed? I mean, what are they beating? And then, of course, there's useful speed, but that's a whole different subject. Because it's one thing to go out and go, oh, look how fast we went for one second. And it's another thing to have a glider like the Dominator that's so safe, you could literally fly through the desert in the middle of the day and keep on going because you're not so scared. To, I mean, they, they literally won't even fly the gliders during the day. They're so deadly and they're so afraid of them. And it, it's just a nightmare where the Dominator, not only do you have the speed, but you can use the speed. And it's not about the Dominator. I don't give one crap about the Dominator. That just happens to be the current best glider. If anyone can produce a glider for me that will beat the Dominator, I will give you $5,000. Look through my videos. I've been offering that for years. Where's anyone that's produced a glider that will actually beat the Dominator? For actual characteristics that are measurable. Measurable. There's no opinion to which glider is the best. It's the glider that has the best characteristics. And glider characteristics are easily measurable. So there is no maybe. So if you can produce a glider for me that will beat the Dominator based on measurable characteristics, no bull crap, no BS, well then I'll sell that. I don't give a crap. I sell all gliders. I can sell the free ride from Ozone. I can sell total death traps. I just choose not to be a total loser, murderous scumbag. I choose to be a good, nice guy who, when you say, hey, which glider should I trust my life to? I go, okay, get a Dominator, bam. It's like, why would you go out and make all these videos promoting death traps? You know, once you learn who to trust your life to, it's pretty simple. You gotta hold on to that person and, and listen. Um, but also double check them. An honest person doesn't mind being double checked or people asking questions and trying very legitimate questions because you'll see the trash talkers lie and bash and go on with all kinds of garbage. But again, here's a video, guy dies, one collapse, totally mild conditions because turbulence is like violent. You'll see the glider slam and all, bam, the glider's off to your right side, boom, it's completely behind you, boom, the glider's all the way in front of you, boom, it's over there, bam. Paraglider pilots, we fly in the mountains in active thermic conditions in 100 degree temperatures in the desert in the middle of the day. That's what turbulence is. You watch the video of the guy dying, you can't even see the glider move. It looks like he's flying perfectly smooth and boom, he takes a collapse. That's how deadly and unsafe that hoax flex gliders are that they call reflex. They are horribly unstable. But one of the big lies that the murderous scumbags use is they tell you, oh, it's more stable, it's auto stable. Total lie. If you wanna check glider stability, it's very, very simple. It's like scratching a diamond on glass. Glass doesn't scratch a diamond, the diamond scratches a glass. You wanna know which of two gliders is more stable? You run them into each other. I've already done the test. Bam, the hoax flex glider collapsed over and over and over and over against the K2. Bam, the Dominator wins. It's just not even comparable which glider is more stable. It's a proven fact. The hoax flex death traps are thousands of times more likely to collapse. And when they collapse, you do a backflip 180 and, and you die. So it's like, what do I got to do here to save your life? It's like, show you the facts. The guy died. Now, another thing, this is a pretty big one because it's, it's a really interesting test. But at one of the recent Salt and Sea fly-ins, there was five of us flying Dominators and there was two guys in the sky on hoax flex death traps. Five Dominators, 
two guys on hoax flex death traps. The wind kicked up. Well, the five of us on Dominators didn't give a crap. We just kept flying because it doesn't bother us, doesn't affect us. Where the two guys in the hoax flex death traps are scrambling to land and one of them takes a collapse, wads up, falls out of the sky, pounds into the ground because the glider never even tries to recover. It literally, what you just saw happened, guy spiraled right out of the, out of the sky, bam, all the way to the ground. Two hoax flex gliders in the sky, five dominators, one of the hoax flex gliders wads up, falls out of the sky and the guy pounds into the ground. I mean, it's like the facts are the facts are the facts. There is no opinion to this. The people out there promoting the death traps are just freaking evil. How could you say it any more clearly? I mean, what are you going to do? Downgrade evil to slightly scummy? I mean, they're literally trying to get you to purchase a glider that is so deadly you literally have a 100% chance of taking a collapse. And when you take a collapse at some point, it's gonna do a backflip 180 and lock into a spiral and just not recover and crash into the ground and you freaking die. Five more dead in the last matter of months, hundreds dead over and over and over for no reason, because there's no benefit. There's nothing better, they suck. Yeah, you can have fun on them, they can handle well, it can be fun to fly, but it's a death trap that doesn't quite have the performance of a super safe glider. So it's like, what's the point? Okay, hopefully this information will save your life and you won't be a total idiot and listen to some scumbag trying to sell you an uncertified class glider instead of someone doing everything they can to make sure you get the best and safest gear. I'm not a safety Nazi. I don't mind one bit if you go out and you do a loop under a bridge and you miss and you die. Okay, crap happens, there you go. Kudos to you, way to die. I hope I die that way. But if you die because you bought some pile of crap glider from a lion scumbag murderer, it's like you get a Darwin Award, okay? It's like stupid is stupid. If you're gonna die, at least die doing something cool. I mean, seriously, really? Come on, use your brain. Turn the brain on. Don't just listen use some active logic and reasoning and do a little research and look at the facts, compare, and you know, look at the collapse testing on these hoax flex death traps. Oh, yeah, there isn't any, because the guys who do it, like, die. Hello, yeah, think about that.